So I'm in the process of finishing the electrical for the uh, solar kiln, to power the fans. Um, I am, I cut my last piece of conduit because I've run my entire shop in conduit, got it tied into the panel. Now I'm gonna make my final connections. I have a GFI breaker that I'm gonna tie it onto and uh, we should be done anything inside of an electrical panel shut it off if you if you can't I would suggest getting an electrician to do the job for you I'm, I am an electrician working on the job for 35 years and so I can handle it Sounds like famous last words to me. <laughs> Said he could handle it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is mount my ground wire to the bus, to the ground bar, which is right over here. a nice neat panel GFI breaker you tie the neutral onto there's a there's a ground uh, neutral uh, terminal on the breaker itself The QO brake uh, panel for, uh, it's made by Square D, and this one's got the plug-in uh, neutral bar for the breakers, which is very very nice. You don't have to tie a, an additional wire from your neutral onto your breaker itself. All I got left is a hot wire. I'll be good to turn it on. We built the house we had a 400 amp service put in might sound excessive but I had it I had a, a dual meter uh, a dual feed meter can put in so one meter but it splits off to two different 200 amp uh, services so I have 200 amps for the house 
200 amps for the shop. So, I'm done. Let's get you a little tour of the uh, solar kiln now that it's finished. I put in probably got about 500 board feet of pine in here that was cut down, that was uh, milled back in. Uh, uh, beginning of April, March, sometime there. And I'm uh, going to let it sit. Got my uh, black plastic now hanging down from the fan wall. If you can take a look at the fan wall up there. The fans were installed yesterday. Um, I've had it open while I've loaded it, so it's, the temperature is only down to 100. It's at 101 right now. But uh, it should... Uh, this should get uh, really, really hot. It was 146 in here the other day. So, um, so it's a one by ten siding with a one by three bat. It's got the clear uh, polycarbonate roof. I changed out my uh, rake edging for something a little more substantial, like I showed on the earlier videos. Again, one by ten. The whole the dimensions of it is uh outside dimension is uh eight by 12. i can get an 11 foot two piece of uh, lumber in there uh and uh you know i'm pretty happy with it louvers found them on amazon and uh this is the this design is um from wood magazine if you google wood magazine uh, solar kiln this is what you'll come up with. Um, thank you for watching all these, and uh, please click like and subscribe. Bye.